Today's video is going to be all about how to make your lips look and appear fuller and bigger. So that's definitely been a trend within the past two years. Me, I've always been really into overlining because I've always been very insecure about my lips. Yes, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate about this. Yes, my lips are already full. I know. I get that all the time. It's not that I want them to be bigger and that's not what I'm insecure about. It's the fact that they are very uneven. So my top lip is very, very uneven and so is my bottom lip. One side, I don't know if you can tell now because they are overlined um, kind of evenly now, but one side of my bottom lip is definitely plumped out a lot more than the other and um, the line on my top lip, one um, kind of goes forward more and the other one is kind of back. That's kind of just my backstory about my own lips, but there are also um, reasons why you guys don't like your lips or just want to learn how to overline. Um, this video is going to teach you my tips and tricks on how to make your lips look, like I said, up here and look bigger without um, lip injections, obviously. Another thing I wanted to point out too, um, I have studio lighting around me, so you can see basically everything very up close. Um, so if it does look a little bit too overlined or it looks too obvious. No one ever tells me, like even my closest friends and family, that my lips look too fake and overlined. Um, I've learned to do it in a way where it looks very natural. Um, like I said, I don't walk around with studio lighting around me all the time 24-7, so this lighting does pick up a lot of um, things that are a lot, lot less obvious. So don't be afraid even to try it because it's not going to appear that obvious if it does on camera right now. So. Um, with that being said, let's get into this video and if you guys want to learn how to overline your lips properly and make them look a lot fuller and more luscious, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do if, um, you know, to get your lips as plump and hydrated as possible is to exfoliate them. My lips have actually been pretty dry the past couple, two to three days. Um, so right before I did my makeup I exfoliated them with a very gritty charcoal and sugar cleanser and um, it kind of got most of the dead skin off. I still have a little bit but I think it's just because my lips have just been extremely dry because of the um, weather change but that's the first thing you're going to want to do so definitely exfoliate. The second is going to be hydrate so you're going to want to either put a a hydrating oil, chapstick, um, a moisturizer. Um, what I did personally is my lips, I like to keep them a little bit matte and as kind of dry as possible, but if you feel like you need that really extra moisture, then definitely go ahead and use a face oil or more of a greasier um, consistency chapstick almost. Um, I use my face moisturizer and I really just rub it into my lips. I find that it works the best and hugs on to um, all the lip products that I used the longest. So that's exactly what I did before I did my makeup. So the second thing would definitely be hydrate. So it goes cleanse, hydrate, and then we are ready to put on our lipstick. Well, almost. Um, the third thing I would say is definitely to try to conceal um, the edges as much as possible. Since we are going to overline them a little bit, um, we definitely want to kind of almost hide the, you know, the dark edges that our lips tend to have, especially when we're doing a nude lip because it's really hard to overline with a nude lip liner um, without it being too obvious. Darker lipsticks are a little bit easier because obviously they're darker than our natural lip color, but with nude and pink and light lipsticks, it, you do want to kind of use whatever left whatever is left over on your concealer brush or maybe um, like a lip erase product. So I'm just going to take whatever is left over my concealer brush and go over it with my, or go over my lips. If you feel like your lips are very, very pigmented and dark and pink, then you are going to want to take a lot more than I just did, but I never really find that it's too much of a problem as long as I do it about this much. Okay, so the first one that we are going to do that I think 
works the best in my opinion is um, doing a nude lipstick. So the lip liner that you use kind of has a lot to do with it. Um, I think the color definitely should be a little bit darker than your natural lip color. For me, I feel like either doing mauves or the color we're doing now, which is more of like a darker brown undertoned nude, works the best for me when it comes to overlining. I feel like things such as like Myth from MAC or Sand from Dose of Colors are just a little bit too light to overline my lips with. So the one that I love and I feel like works the absolute best to overline my lips is Strip Down by MAC. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is make sure that the um, pencil is sharpened as much as possible. So this is really important especially when you are overlining your top lip at its pigmented as possible so you're going to want to apply the most pressure when the tip is a little bit dull and rounded it's kind of hard to get that really crisp clean line with the pencil so just make sure it's as sharpened as possible and then what we're going to do is it doesn't matter where you start but I like to start on the bottom to see how far I like to go down first that's just personal preference Okay, so you can see the line isn't very clean right there, but don't worry, we're going to go clean it up. So, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but I first initially started by lining my lips right on the line, and then I slowly start going under and under. And now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, you don't want to get too carried away because then that's when it can get a little bit dangerous. But depending how far your bottom lip hangs, if it has a little hump like I do, uh, or you can't really tell how much you've overlined, then you can definitely go a little bit further with it. But if your lip is more flat and you can definitely see where your natural lip ends, then don't try to go too far down because that's when it starts to look really fake. But I always like to do this and then see how even everything is. Moving on to the top, I start by lining my actual cupid's bow. Now the problem with my lips is the fact that they don't have a very precise line. My cupid's bow and my lip lines are very um, uneven and they're very different from each other. Um, my cupid's bow is not a perfect V and the lines like I said aren't very crisp and precise so it's really hard for me to um, let's just say like wear liquid lipsticks without using a liner because it's so hard for me to get that nice clean line. So after I do the cupid's bow I do side by side. see up top right here I um, always try to not make my cupid's bow in such a harsh V I kind of try to slowly go over the V so where it's more like um, a this shape instead of a like a straight down V so it's fairly even as of right now but now I'm just going to kind of go over where my actual lip line is and now it's where I'm going to start to overline my lip Okay, so from there, I just do little stripes like this everywhere. So I like to use this really flat brush right here. Um, it's basically the same brush that I use to carve out my brows. So this is a flat definer brush. I know Sigma has one. I know Morphe has one. This is actually a MAC one that was a special edition um, handle. But um, this is my favorite because I think it really, since it has those nice clean sharp edges it helps you get a nice sharp line um, but you can use an angled brush if you're comfortable with that you can use more of a flat paddle brush anything that's going to help you clean up this line but you want it to be a th synthetic brush so it holds the concealer really well so since I have a lot of concealer left over this I'm not going to dip into an actual concealer but you totally can do that just make sure that you wipe off the excess on the back of your hand or a towel or wherever or your sweatpants I don't know it's your it's your deal but um just go in and this is where you're going to want to kind of fold your lips like this. And then that's where you can see where it's uneven. And then that's where you know where to clean it up. So for me, right here.
Just be careful every time you wipe some off to wipe the rest off in the back of your hand so that way it doesn't smear the excess lip liner all, all over your mouth because that's a messiness. And now, your, the lip color that you choose is actually kind of important because you want something that's going to almost be like your lip color but better, um, but a little bit darker than your natural lip color. So my lipstick of choice today is going to be the Liquid Lipstick from Dose of Colors in the shade Truffle. I love this. It's one of my favorite liquid lipsticks for this reason because it makes my lips look just so good. So you're just going to want to apply like you naturally would. you don't want to go right on top where the very edge is or over the line. So you just want to go right up to the line basically. I don't know, I keep saying line too much. Hopefully you guys are following along. But as you can see, it definitely makes your lips look a little bit fuller. So this is one of the options. You can stop right here. Once it dries completely matte, um, it's just, it still looks so full. Like as you can see in the clip before, my lips just weren't very contoured. Um, they didn't have like much shape to them. Um, like I said, me personally, my lips don't have that nice crisp line, so it's really hard to see where they start and stop. There's so much more definition in them. Um, they look, instead of my top lip drooping down and going straight down where all of, uh, when I pick up my head, that's where you can see the fullness. But now, since we overlined and did all that, you can see it just without me having to pick up my head. So. This is where, like I said, you can stop, but I like to take it a step further. So I know matte lips have been all the rage um, the past year and then in 20, 2015. Um, matte lips were like the only thing people wanted. Gloss is back. Gloss has honestly for me never left. I loved gloss um, ever since I was very little. Um, this is my all-time favorite gloss in the entire world. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. I highly recommend the regular butter gloss line from NYX. They are just hands down one of the best lip glosses I've ever tried. So now that it's um, pretty much dried down, I'm just going to go over it. And I'm going to want to stay more in the center and not bring it all the way to the top. Make sure your teeth don't have anything on it because that's really embarrassing. Trust me, I've been there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I don't add too much because I don't want my lips to look goopy. I just don't like that nasty goopy look. But I just want enough shine to where um, it photographs really nicely. And um, in person, they just look so full. I honestly could not explain to you how much I love this lip combination. But basically, my formula is just a really good lip liner. You want something that's a little bit darker than the lipstick. Technically, I don't really like to powder my lips. Um, after concealer. I know they say it lasts longer, but for me, I don't really see a difference, um, but I just pr prefer without the powder because I feel like the lip liners that I use glide on a little bit better without um, the powder on top of them. Okay, so the second option for me is definitely of a darker uh, plummy brown color. I think a lot of the plummy browns that are out right now just really really complement um, not only just overlining lips but just complement my features the best. Um, I feel like they make people's lips look bigger than they really are um, just because the color is just so rich and um, more of a berry color. It's not a dark lipstick where you can it kind of overpowers the face. I just think nice rich um, berry colors are just amazing. Um, so the one that we're actually going to be using today is Manhattan from Ofra. I have obviously the old packaging of the Ofra liquid lipstick, but they are the same color. The lip liner we're going to be using for this one is Plum. I've already sharpened it, um, and we're just going to be lining our lips the exact same way that I showed you guys before. And another thing too is how much pressure you guys use. Um, don't go straight in with the point, um, you know, kind of being super, super, you know, flat down on your lips because that's just going to be really, really hard to get a straight line. Um, and a nice crisp line. So I like to go in almost at an angle with the point on 
an angle and then the side of the pencil on the rest of my lip so that way it kind of also fills in and makes a thicker line at the same time. Okay, so as you can see right here, um, this side of my mouth um, looks a little bit more rounded and this side kind of goes straight down at an angle and I don't like that so I'm going to um, round this out just a little bit more. And when I want to fix something after I've applied the liquid lipstick, I always go back in with the lip liner and don't try to go in with the liquid lipstick because that's when it gets really messy. Alright, so like the previous... Um, lip combo we did you can add a gloss but with this one I don't feel like it's necessary I feel like um, because the color is just so rich um, it already makes my lips look as full as possible in my opinion um, I just love it I love this color I think it flatters um, people of my skin tone really really well so if you're like fair um, and you're too scared to wear like a super dark lipstick I think this nice rich berry color is really really great for fall especially